Hello, uh, hello, my name is Michael Ng. I'm Kevin Ho. I'm a fourth year undergrad, graduating this quarter. Um, I'm a visual arts media major at U University of California, San Diego. This is Kim Hound. The environment that we live in right now is just heavily polluted and not enough people know about this. To spread the message out, we're mixing the message and entertainment uh, together by fusing by using electrical engineering to hack commercially commercial robots such as RoboPets and we've given birth to our own breed called Chemhound. There are uh, several basic components. There is, this, there is the sensor right here which detects the VOCs, a power source that's located here that powers the wiring board and the dog, a relay the switch that turns the dog on, off or on, and then an additional battery pack which originally supports the dog. Uh, uh, straight out of the box, this guy actually has uh, edge detection, object object detection. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work quite <laughs> well. Good. Oh, it fell in the crack of. Yeah. Now, if he, if he sees an edge on the edge of the or sees edge, he'll try to avoid it, but it doesn't always work perfectly. As you can see. <laughs> This is the reason why we actually wanted to go with the uh, the actual Matrax slash ARC vehicle RC vehicle sort of chassis to move them around because you can't take really, them out of there. This is really, terrible. You can't really have this sort of thing happening all the time. I feel bad for this guy. Is he's trying to stay away from it? He's, he'll try to. So he knows there's an edge there, so he doesn't want to walk off. Right, he'll try not to walk off, but part of the time, but it seems to be subject to the lighting situation. Fairly mobile for a dog of this price. Uh, unfortunately, not necessarily mobile enough for the original, for the original design. The original design was actually to, up, to upgrade to upgrade him, say, to move about rougher terrain, say the yeah. terrain that's found around campus and whatnot. Yeah. The entire area of UCSD used to be part of a of the uh, Miramar uh, military base. It was actually the riflery range slash art artillery range, and a fair amount of VOCs are found in, say, gunpowder, such as compounds within Halloween and let's, let's see if we can actually get them to uh, react. <laughs> I don't think he likes it very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. With the advancement of new technologies such in plastics and metals, um, we're producing a lot of byproducts that are extremely harmful to the neural, rep reproductive, digestive, respiratory systems. The pediatricians of t pediatricians of today no longer um, are treating for for vi viruses and the common cold. We're working on um, asthma, autism, and other kinds of disease that we are pretty positive is being caused by the byproducts of modernization.